we are doing a bowl-a-thon where we are making bowls and we are going to donate them to the elderly and to other people in Banville. It's the bowl-a-thon! Yay! Um, well, this is something that has been, it's been going on longer than we've been here, I think. Um, but it's 12 hours of making bowls, inviting community members to come in and sort of like, it's a community event in that respect. We all make bowls, make bowls out of clay, I guess I could be more specific. Um, and then in a couple of weeks we fire them, we glaze them, and we will have a sale of the bowls. So right now we're just trying to get, crank out as many bowls as we can so that when it comes time to have the sale, once they're all trimmed and glazed, people will be able to choose between a lot, a lot of bowls. Yeah. Um, but also a lot of people come to the sale who came to the came to the bowl making and want to find their own. It's good. Yeah. Reuniting kids with their bowls is really fun. We're like helping out with the event, helping people make bowls if you've never made a bowl before, like we're helping you construct the bowl, you can make them by hand or you can use the wheel. Well, there's a couple of different ways. There is the one that everybody sort of thinks about, which is throwing um, on the wheel, which, I mean, you start with a hunk of clay that you have to prepare in a certain way to get all the air bubbles out. You put it on the wheel, and because it spins around, when you apply pressure in one spot, it sort of applies it evenly to all spots. Get the center of the center, center of the clay, clay in the center of the wheel. So that when you like push on it, it doesn't like flop around. It's just to get involved in the community and bring the arts more into the community. We wanna like make that we wanna make the studio art program more known and stuff, so that's why we are donating our bowls to people and letting people take the bowls home with them if they want to and it's just to get the community involved in the art program and make them aware that Denison has a really great BFA program which not many of um, the Rural Arts Colleges offer.